Hello and welcome. Right, today I'm going to have a bit of a look at my free to play account. I've had this account for six weeks now and it's actually been really fun. I've especially enjoyed going through all the quests again and I've I've forgotten how much I enjoyed the story actually. It's It's been great. In this video I'm going to go through what I've got out of the wishing system despite not putting in any money at all. That way if you're new to Genshin Impact or trying to stop that spending on Primo's habit, you can get an idea of what sort of account you can expect in a fairly short time frame. Now, at this point, I should mention there is a significant difference between an F2P player that is relatively early game and one that is late game. In the early game, if you want another wish, all you have to do is open some chests or complete some quests. Late game, your sources of primos are limited to doing dailies and whatever events may be going on and of course the Spiral Abyss. Yes, I know there are some limited other sources of primos, but the quantity is so small that they're not really worth considering. I'm talking about things like the daily check-in feature on Hoyo Lab app, for example, which will net you a massive 60 Prima gems per month. Of course, when new patches are released, if they include a new area or quests, then there will be some additional sources of game currency there. Uh, you get the idea. Late game, there will be times when getting a wish a day is more or less impossible. This account, however, is still what I would call early game. Uh, though be warned, even in the early game, as I found out, you won't get everything you want. Luck will most definitely play a greater part than if you were spending money. I should know, as I've had the most appalling luck on this account, especially when it comes to four-star characters. At this point, I just want to talk about chance, luck, and the wishing system. Imagine you roll a dice three times. Getting a one on all three rolls, whilst unlucky, is certainly a possibility. However, the more you roll, the closer the results will tend to be a one-sixth chance on each possible number. If you rolled the dice six million times, then you get around one million ones. That's the point. The more you wish, the greater the tendency for you to get about the average expected result, neither lucky nor unlucky. Hence why F2P players, who can't wish as often sometimes, feel like they don't get as lucky as those that spend money and therefore wish more often. That's, that's just a, a, something worth bearing in mind. Okay, with that said, let's have a look at some of the appalling luck I've experienced on this count. Standard wishes, you know, okay, so you know how it goes with standard wishes. You get what you get. It's been pretty bad. What you'll notice here is I seem to get a character and then a weapon almost every time. I very rarely get two characters in a row. I got an amber of all the appalling constellations. You know you're in trouble when the very first standard wish character you get other than Noel is amber. So yeah, that wasn't great. And what else have we got here? Favonius Codex, I was happy with that. A Bennett, that's always nice. Dragon's Bane, that could prove to be quite useful. Baidu, happy with that. Skyward Blade, great for Bennett. So we're, we're doing well on that one. Sacrificial Greatsword, I like that, good weapon. And Razor, okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, maybe one day. Stringless, excellent bow, very happy with that. Goru, oh dear goodness, really? And, um, oh yeah, and the bell, because you know, what session of rubbish luck would be complete if you didn't get the bell at some point? Probably multiple copies. Let's have a look at the, uh, the, the proper event wish history. Very first thing that came out of the uh, limited, uh, li limited banner was two Carraras, which, okay, that's cool. I like Carrara, she's a great character. Didn't really want her constellations. What it really wanted was a cookie and it was very tricky, that was. I, I really struggled. I got a Widzith. Here we go with a sort of one weapon followed by one character, Zhang Ling. Great character, very happy with that one. Stringless, again. Another Zhang Ling. Rain Slasher, oh my goodness. And Jean, of all the limited banner five stars, I get Jean. But you know, hey ho. She's great if you've got Farina, but obviously this account doesn't have Farina. Another Zhang Ling, so I'm up to C3 now. So what I really want is one more Zhang Ling. So there's no chance I'm going to get that. Uh, Favonius Greatsword again. Kurara again, because, you know, C2 Kurara, really fantastic. It's not. 
it's just like a co-op constellation it's completely pointless another stringless wow and a cookie finally oh my god a bell because you know a bell great rosaria fantastic got loads of rosarias another rosaria all i wanted was sucrose a flute brilliant just what you need another rosaria and i got navia that was pretty cool i was happy with that navia is a great character she basically is like one half of my spiral abyss teams the rain sasha because you know why not another rosaria sacrificial sword very happy with that that'll go really well on the sing show that i'm going to get probably from the lantern right but we will see another rosaria oh dearie me a candace great but of course just one candace because you know if i could get to c1 then she might actually be useful but at c0 she's basically pointless another flute a uh, bennett i do like bennett but i don't really need his constellations at this stage and then actually the first bit of what i would consider to be actual luck i got chevreuse that i really wanted to get and i also got raiden shogun and that was the last time that i've wished on this account because i've been saving up to you know for ideally i'd like to get nahida that's that's where i want to go with this but we will see so there you go that's the proof of my appalling free-to-play luck uh, i i have followed my own advice i saved up the star glitter and i used the shop to get myself a copy of zhang ling so i now have her at c4 and that instantly makes a massive difference c4 zhang ling is a great improvement and i highly recommend it let's just have a look at some of my two best teams so far my first best team i suppose you could say and this is my second we've got navia using the event weapon that unfortunately if you haven't already got it you can't get it but the great thing about event weapons is you can get them to a refinement rank five really easily and this is a really good weapon for her actually i'm i'm very happy with how it performs i have got myself up to ar 49 now so i'm heading in the direction of ar 50 but critically that means i can get proper five star art artifacts obviously not all of them but you know these are awful but they're a start that one's not bad actually the, the geo damage one really great i mean i'd rather it didn't have defense on there i'd rather that went into crit rate or even attack would be nice attack percent or even flat attack honestly but you know it's still a nice a nice goblet that's where we've got to with that constellation zero talents six eight six obviously with navia the skill is the number one thing to to level up but she's also my on-field dps so i will probably level up everything just when i have the resources zhang ling oh yes with prototype star glitter now i could give her the catch because i do have that i recently did a bit of fishing and i've got that up to refinement rank 2 this would be a much better weapon for her but i currently have it equipped on my new raiden shogun who i am trying to get set up we do have emblem of severed fate we have failed to get five star artifacts on this one it's uh, just the way it goes at the moment. Constellation 4. Oh, thank goodness. It's not essential to her being useful, but it really does make a big difference. Talents-wise, okay, I need to level this up some more, but, you know, resources and time. One of the problems with the fact that this account's only been going six weeks is, although I've managed to generate quite a lot of wishes and get a fair number of characters just through sort of playing the game and also raising up my adventure uh, my adventure rank what I haven't managed to do is have a lot of resin to spend on artifacts or leveling up material or bosses or weekly bosses because there just haven't been that many days chevreuse now i actually think she's really good i'm going to do a uh, a bit of a review of her that'll probably be the next video that i do i've also got her on my main account although also unfortunately c0 i would love to have her at c6 i think she'd be great at c6 but i'm post 50 50 on my main account i just can't risk you know, i can't risk wishing for constellations that you know what it's like with four stars i may well not get them anyway and i will almost certainly end up losing my guaranteed cloud retainer so yeah not doing that 
not not even going to make one wish on that other account until the, the new banners drop. So unfortunately, Chevra's is going to be staying at C0 for me on both accounts. Artifact-wise, I've gone with Noblesse Oblige. And these pieces are pretty rubbish, but I have gone with a healing bonus circlet. And then HP and energy recharge, although I want it to be HP, I just don't have an HP one for her yet. The healing bonus circlet is a good idea for Chevrolet's because I really like her healing. I find it very helpful. I have got her with the black tassel because it's got HP percent. And then I've got this team with Noel. Now you might be thinking, surely the Geo Traveler would be better. And honestly, Benny would be better than Chevrolet's. And for the Spiral Abyss, that is probably how it will go. I will probably have Benny and probably still Noel, quite honestly, because the advantage that Noel has is when somebody like, say, Navia is close to death, Noel will give her an emergency shield. I found the team to be far more durable with Noel on it rather than Geo Traveler, despite the fact that Geo Traveler is in theory better. And the other thing, though, I hate about Geo Traveler is all those Geo constructs that he makes. They're just like obstacles that get in the way of you actually hitting the enemies and being able to move around. And if you're not careful, you end up climbing up his asteroid and stuff like that. It's, oh, no, not, not a big fan of Geo Traveler, quite honestly. The Dendro Traveler, I think he's pretty good. And I should probably use him, but I haven't got that one set up yet. Right, here we go. This team is a problem. Kuki Shinobu is the only reason why the team works at all. I've got her on Iron Sting. Great weapon. Artifacts. Gilded Dreams. Four piece. Constellation zero. I'd love it to be one. Talent six. That's fine. Talents are kind of irrelevant. The really important point here is she's got 840 elemental mastery, which whilst that's not in a huge amount, she should get another hundred out of the Gilded Dreams passive and also a little bit more from the Dendro resistance that comes from having Karara here. She's my defensive utility and a little bit of Dendro. Kale is the rest of the Dendro application, and Barbara does the Hydro. Now, the problem I've got with this team, fundamentally, is the Hydro application is lacking, the damage from Barbara is zero, and the Dendro application is lacking. This team, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Ideally, I want Nahida for Dendro and Sing Shou, and then the team's great. And then, of course, we've got my sort of overkill Raiden Shogun overworld team so yeah and then you know a smattering of other teams and characters that don't really work properly i'd like to do something with razor and even candice one day but it's it's tough at the moment you know <laughs> character wise i just I, I need i need a few more characters let's um head to the spiral list and see how far we can get through it mm -mm. Okay, Elemental Mastery plus 80%. Yes, thank you. Another test. Anyone that doesn't think Fontaine has come with, um, <laughs> what do you call it, power creep has not been playing the game very long. There's no question about it. A lot of the Fontaine characters are significantly more powerful. There we go. See what I mean? It's just quite difficult to actually get any decent uptime with these things. Anyway. Oh, that was a waste. Did you just run into me? See, we just battery everyone a little bit, I think. Hmm. I do enjoy playing Navia. She's a great character. If you haven't got her, I, I do recommend people 
try and pick her up when she reruns, which she will do in fairly short order. Now, I always struggle with Pyro Slimes and this team because honestly, Barbara does not put enough Hydro down. So quite often, I actually can't get uh, the um, you know I can't I can't get the blooms I need, and without blooms. This team does very little damage. Her ring will generate, puts enough hydro down. There we go, get some. Oh, we don't waste it on that. Okay, good. Nice. More elemental mastery. That's always handy. Uh oh. This is where I realised that I used the wrong the wrong one, because I'm pretty sure that uh, Navia is not the right person to um, to disable that thingy. There we go. I do, I do kind of feel like I would like Nouvellet, you know. I probably shouldn't be using this team on the high, you know, on the, the the pyro side is the truth. Oh, oh, oh yes, I remember this one now. Nice. No idea what's going on here. Yeah, I should definitely... Definitely use the Dendro Traveler on the second half, really. Oh, I hate it when they got the shields up. Obviously, you like guns, do you? Oh, I hate these things. Come on, take it down. Nice. Elemental Mastery, yes please. One nice thing about Elemental Mastery for this team is it means that it will actually... those crystallized shields will be a little bit stronger. Should be handy. I definitely think I'm a, a month or two, shall we say, away from finishing um, floor 12. Let's end it now. And bye bye. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Unbelievable. Pretty sure that was nine stars. <sighs> Hydromimic cranes. Oh dear. You can see why I was desperate to have a. Uh, Cookie on this account, and Navia also is pretty handy. But I could replace Navia. She is, you know, the team would be not as strong if I used Raiden, certainly at the moment. But mm, we'll see when I'm finished with Chevros and Raiden. I think that's going to be a pretty good team. But uh, the other side, 
the Hyperbloom side, if there was no cookie, there would be no team. Hey, you guys, what are you doing? That is my monolith. I always struggle with the monolith to remember that it doesn't actually matter how long it takes. What matters is, you know, how much damage the monolith takes. Uh, no you don't. Oh. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we've made a mistake here. These are dendro immune. Yeah, this is terrible, terrible, terrible news. Oh God, are you looking at that? I saw 84 there, not 84,000, just 84. Oh wow, 100, 376. Oh, well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, we, we've, we've got it made, haven't we? Yeah, that does work slightly better, doesn't it? Oh, I hope there's no more dendro immune enemies here. <laughs> I got three stars. That's a surprise. So it was worth it plowing through that dendro immune stuff. I think we'll just take extra HP again, you know. It's good for Benny's healing as well because he's not built properly at the moment, which is not ideal. See what I mean? We don't have, we're not having the most fantastic healing out of Benny here. We should just be healing everyone up like basically straight away. Let's get some healing in there, please. All right, this is going to go differently. No idea who the bad guys are on this one, but can we get one of those? Or well, we can. Oh, these these dudes hit. Yeah, they they hit. I'm just trying to concentrate on one of them right now. Yeah, this is, I think this is the weaker side, but it's the weaker side not because Cookie isn't amazing, it's the weaker side because I cannot apply enough Dendro, or for that matter, enough Hydro. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes, I think that was the, f I think that was the three stars. I think. No way we're going to get through the next chamber. Uh, we're going to continue. Yeah, I got the three stars, like, by seconds. But I don't think we're going to be successful in this particular one. No. There we go. already not going according to plan. Uh, my Navia needs more um, crit rate, by the way. Oh, we're just not going to do it, are we? We don't have that damage. It's on a rampage! It's on a rampage! Ouch, that hurt. Nah. It was quite close, actually. I mean, you know, if I had Al Haytham on this team or something, you know, something like that, it would be a foregone conclusion, honestly. As it is, it's just too clunky, you know, having to swap around everyone. This is why I want Sing Show as well, because one of the problems with Hyper Bloom is it is great as a reaction, but you do want something else on the team that actually does damage. And unfortunately, that is not Barbara, and it is not Kale. But you know what, though? I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a go. Let's have a quick look at the weapons. So I've got Skyward Blade, like I said, for Benny. It's a great weapon. I'm very happy with that. It's great because it's got a high base attack. It's a five star weapon, but it's also energy recharge. So yeah, it's actually one of his better weapons. I've also got the, the event weapon and Iron Sting, the craftable, the catch, fantastic, fishable, prototype star glitter, mm, a bit rubbish, but it's energy recharge. It's four star, 
it'll work for Zhang Ling until I can find something better. Uh, sacrificial Sword, that's a good weapon. Widzith, brilliant weapon, just don't have an on-field DPS catalyst user yet. Favonius, great sword, fantastic weapon, would love to get some refinements for that, really make Beidou sort of work well and easily. Dragon's Bane, probably gonna put that with uh, Raiden at some point and give her a Gilded, Master, uh, Gilded Dreams set so that she's got that elemental mastery build for sort of hyper bloom botting. Ah, Pain Slasher. Yikes. This will be Fischl's bow when I get Fischl, which will probably be about six months time from the Star Glitter Shop. I think that's how that's going to go. And I've got a strong line in um, in three star weapons going here. White tassels. Now they only come from chests. Don't get rid of your white tassels, you, otherwise you will not have any and they are quite useful crit rate pole arms so yeah i find these sky rider swords are really good for those times when what you want is a favonius sword and you just don't have one hardbringer of dawn you know it can be all right noelle's got the old defense claymore because you know i'm just trying to maximize her shield that's like basically her only job on that team oh i've got a dark iron sword somewhere as well there we go dark iron sword another em sword you get this by talking to the chef dude in leeway by the crafting table and yeah that's actually a, it's a really nice weapon you can't refine it unfortunately but it doesn't really matter because really it's just a sort of three star em stat stick oh yes and i always end up with lots and lots of r5 thrilling tales of dragon slayers books because they're just really great catalysts and you can make use of them in all sorts of teams i think that's pretty much everything except that i now should be able to go up to Ooh, look at that. I'm going to have 20 wishes, aren't I, I think? So that's one step closer to my dream of winning Nahida for this account. It, it's been fun. I've uh, I've enjoyed having this free-to-play account, and I'm going to keep on sort of, you know, marching through the, the quests and gaining whatever, you know, Prima Gems I can, because I actually I quite like the strategy of having limited resources and see how good an account I can build over time. I'm just a whisker away from AR50 now, and then I'll actually uh, be able to do the final ascension on characters and weapons and, and really sort of maximize their damage. Because at the moment, it's actually quite impressive that I got to floor 12 with this shockingly appalling set of artifacts and weapons and characters that are not leveled up anything like enough. Cool. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'll be making lots more content. We're going to go through this lovely, lovely young lady, Chevreuse, who's actually a bit of a, you know, gun-toting maniac. And she's great in overload teams. So we'll be trying that out, seeing what kind of difference she can make. How much of a replacement for Benny could she be, perhaps? I don't know. We'll see uh, in the next video. Take care, and may you win all your 50-50s.